in the canon novel Master and Apprentice by Claudia Gray. Higan and his apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi, are finishing a mission against the Hutt clan on the planet Teth. And it's there where we see them have complications that a master and student should never have. Soon after, they return to Coruscant and speak to the Jedi Council about their recent endeavor. Kigan is gifted an invitation to get a seat on the council since one of the members, Poli Depation, was retiring. Now, I found this piece of information to be quite interesting because it confirms that Jedi can, indeed, retire. Kigan felt very surprised by this decision because he defied the council's orders in the past. However, they wanted him because of how skilled a Jedi he was. Joining would not only allow him to make decisions for the order and see the change he wanted but also allow Obi-Wan to take on another master since their relationship wasn't ideal. Without being a personal decision, it is in this passage where it's once again confirmed that Jedi Council members could have apprentices, however, most don't because it is to time costly, of course. We already knew Jedi could have apprentices as council members because Depa Balaba was one and had Kanan as an apprentice. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Do you like the idea of Jedi being able to retire, or would you prefer them to make it there? Life's goal to defend the galaxy as a Jedi, also. Let me know if you want more canon stories from the novel Master and Apprentice in the comments. And that's about it, see ya.